That's a bass. Got a little one on the swim jig. Little river bass. We've switched up and kind of been swimming a jig a little bit more around some of this cover. We've got some cattails here that you can see floating on the surface. And we're out here in the springtime on the river and we're really starting to get some consistently warm days and these shallows are really heating up. And that's kind of when these flats become a bigger player on the river. We got 60 degree temperatures back here and those fish are really starting to kind of get up shallow and cover them a little more ground and see if we can't get some bites on that. Yeah, it's a bass. Hey, not real big. Right up in the cattails again. <laughs> a little river male. In the springtime, cover a little bit more water once it warms up. Kind of, we're got 60, 62 degree water temps. And they're not spawning yet but they're starting to creep up on these shallower flats in some of the dead grass and cattails that are left over from last year. And one good way to cover water is with a swim jig, using an all-terrain swim jig right now and just kind of twitching along through the old grass, covering water. You know, you can certainly slow down and fish this stuff and catch some fish. Oh, there's a pike. But, um, you know, speeding up, with a swim jig allows you to cover a little bit more water. And this applies to rivers, lakes, reservoirs. They get up on these shallow flats when that water starts to really warm up. And a swim jig is a really good way, really good natural way to cover, cover some ground. So we got a gator here, but we're after some largemouth today, but we'll take a little action. So for my trailer setup, um, I use a handful of trailers. There's the one I've been using today is a Reaction Innovation Spicy Beaver. It's got a pretty big kicking action to it. I like to use that when there's a little bit more dinge in the water. I also will throw like a skinny dipper at times, a um, little paddle tail. On, on our natural lakes, when it's clear water, I like a really subtle grub. Um, this is really, I think it's only like a three and a half inch grub, but um, today we've been using the spicy beaver. It's got a real good kick in action. Kind of keeps the bait up a little bit and um, I've kind of been pumping the jig a little bit more than I normally would. They just seem to kind of like that lately. You can rig it sideways. Some guys will rig it. I've been rigging it flat today. Kind of skips a little bit better but you can also rig it sideways like that and it kind of kicks like a bluegill almost. But that's kind of been our main setup. One, uh, I think it's a quarter ounce jig from All Terrain and Spicy Beaver Trailer. So when it comes to swimming a jig, I really like a seven foot medium action rod with a fast tip. It's, it's a little bit more moderate, uh, not as stiff as your medium heavy or your heavy action rods. And I throw it with 30 pound braid um, so you got a stiffer line with less stretch. That just seems to be a real good combo for me. The medium action rod gives a little bit more and then you can kind of make up for the give and get right to the fish on a hook set with that braid. It's just kind of the rod and, and line combination that's really worked well for me. If I was fishing heavier pads, heavier grass, I'd maybe go up to a medium heavy style rod, a little bit stiffer. It'll help you get them out of that thicker stuff. But when I'm in sparse cover like this, I really do prefer more of a moderate action with my swim jig, almost like when you're fishing a crankbait a little bit. I just think it allows them to get that bait a little bit better. And I tend not to miss nearly as many fish with that medium action rod. Um, it really loads up nicely when you get a strike and I definitely don't tend to miss nearly as many. That's 
a good bass. Got a pretty good largey. He was right on the edge of the dead cattails there. Just swimming that swim jig. He was right off the edge. We're kind of on a little point here. We got kind of a big basin out here in front of us. Good old largemouth. Just moving up here. Starting to stage for the spawn in a couple weeks. It's a good chunky fish. That was fun. Swimming a jig in the spring can be pretty killer. We timed it right today. We got high sun, we got a little breeze. These shallows are really warming up right now. We're focusing on some of this dead grass that holds heat this time of year. It's kind of up on the shallow flat. These largemouth are moving up from where they're wintering and kind of creeping up there. We got 60 degree water temp right now this afternoon. And uh, swimming a jig covering some water can be really killer in the springtime. It's a really fun bite, reaction bite. Definitely give it a try on your local lake, whether you're on a reservoir, river, or natural lake. It's uh, pretty awesome.